वेलकम फ्रेंड्स टू न्यू टॉपिक ऑन मॉडलिंग ऑफ सेमी कंडक्टर डिवाइसेस सो व्हाट इज गोइंग बिहाइंड द सिमुलेशन सो देयर आर इफ इफ आई टॉक अबाउट फोटोवोल्टिक्स देयर आर कपल ऑफ सिमुलेटर्स अवेलेबल लाइक स्कैप्स वी हैव स्कैप्स वी हैव पीसी 1D वी हैव फोरसेट वी हैव अडैप्ट सो मेनी अदर आर देयर सो व्हाट बेसिकली दे डूइंग सो द अदर नेम फॉर देम कुड बी वन डायमेंशनल पॉइजन सॉल्वर so basically they solve poisson equation or poisson schrodinger equation so basically one dimension poisson solver or poisson schrodinger solver so in one dimension they are solving out poisson's equation and uh, uh, current continuity equations and if we are uh, considering some quantum phenomena also basically transport is a quantum phenomena so we have to consider quantum phenomena so then it is it is a poisson schrodinger solver so if i go you can see we have semi classical transport theory so semi semi classical transport theory because transport itself because uh, whenever charge carrier is moving inside a crystal so crystal is a potential periodic potential maybe periodic or not so uh, there are various phenomena going into it so we will see next so this is basically a quantum phenomena transport is a quantum phenomena so uh we cannot ex exactly solve out quantum because it will require like for multiple particle it will require lot more computation and lot more um, time and all those things so we uh, uh, we are taking an average average out scenario and drift diffusion solution uh, simulations we are making which generally gives our gives us a suitable range uh, results so inclusion of inclusion of tunneling and size quantization effect so tunneling is purely a quantum mecha quantum mechanics phenomena then size quantization effect okay so tunneling is being simulated in by wkb approximation okay and transfer matrix approach and quantum mechanics size quantization effect we'll see what is that or you can directly go for quantum transport whereby directly solve schrodinger equation uh, and other green functions so if you see mobility you have a scattering in while mobility you you will have collision that is scattering you can have defect scattering crystal impurity allows so impurity is like it can be neutral impurity or ionized so if it is ionized what sort of impact it will have so those things carrier carrier scattering like lattice scattering intervalley intervalley then acoustic and optical so all basically this um, uh, transport is itself is a quantum phenomena so we have to consider quantum mechanics into the picture if we are avoiding it so then we have to suitably avoid it uh, uh, so uh, we are calling it a semi classical so we are not going into quantum domain but remaining uh, restricting us ourselves to semi classical uh, transport theory or this drift diffusion modeling you can see here the first case a whereby we have multiple collisions so this mean free path is less very small smaller than the total length okay if if this mean free left path increases this you can see a quasi ballistic or a ballistic where by the you can see so this is what is happening is quantization effect size quantization effect is happening so this first case may be your like classical approach or the last ballistic is maybe your quantum approach so those things so simulating out quantum purely quantum with the like uh, complex is you and uh, like so we will see all those things uh, what sort of uh, generation and recombination mechanism are there say so two if you if you have two pole, two particle uh, so those things so you see the semi classical approach what we do we have compact models diff diffusion equation boltzmann transport equation only these uh, these uh, approximation we are considering we are modeling by these approximations and uh, the advantage here is appropriate for circuit design accurate up to classical limit so they are like roughly they are giving out the result or device performance um, the, the result is uh, more or less accurate okay if you go for quantum approaches you will you need to do quantum hydrodynamics green function method direct solution of n body schrodinger equations so uh, uh, like the advantage here is they will take care of all the classical and quantum features okay accurate up to single particle description can be solved only for a small number of particles like if the num number of particle increase this, uh, this will become like manually unsolvable so you can see this is easier and faster semi classical approach and then this is 
quantum approach is exact solution with which is like difficult and here this is approximate and then this the difference between exact and approximate uh, approximate is not much so that's why this poisson solver one dimensional poisson solver are becoming very very like uh, like becoming very useful tool useful and easier tool okay. so why numerical analysis so if you have complex geometry if you have complex equations like nonlinear equation and coupled nonlinear equations okay like poisson equation then uh, you have com uh, complex initial boundary conditions then no analytical solution then there why you require a numerical method okay so what is actually happening here coupling of transport equation to poisson and band structure solver so basically we have a lattice dynamics which is providing us a band structure and there why our transport is happening under external stimulation of illumination in solar cells or biasing in in, in diodes and uh, mosfet and all okay so those uh, transport equation are taken care by of uh, electromagnetic uh, fields and then overall device simulations we are uh, achieving and uh, like uh, other phenomena we are taking into picture like for solar cell illumination and uh, and uh, interfacial recombination and all those things all those quantum phenomena okay so basically we are um, restricting our ourselves to drift diffusion approach so here poisson equation is there so you can see all the charge whatever charges are there they are responsible for electric field generation and band bending and all those things now you have continuity equation for electron and continuity for holes and this uh, current density equation so whereby for electron j and for electron you can see the uh, drift equation and then the diffusion equation so that's what uh, we are solving out these three equations okay so classification of basically this poisson equation is a partial differential equation so uh, to unlock it you need to like uh, attend uh, google meet session there why where why i will go into detail of those here i will not go into details i will just uh, tell that diffusion and equilibrium problem uh, like diffusion uh, which is uh, uh, carrier diff like in our solar cell which is uh, diffusion um, is happening upon light absorption uh, diffusion uh, current transport is happening whereby this laplace equation they are second order non linear sec second order uh, um, uh, partial differential equations okay so how to solve them out so basically they are solved within a um, within a boundary condition so initially you have governing equations initial conditions and boundary conditions and then Uh, you will describe them dis discretize them by making mesh so you will take care of uh, like uh, if the charge is varying charge density is varying hugely then you will have mesh size very small if the charge density is remaining constant you can have bigger mesh sizes okay so uh, discretization by finite difference finite volume finite element finite element and all then you have sub uh, system uh, system of algebraic equations so whatever equation you are applying at what node and others then uh, this uh, equation solver so this is the important part but how which way you are solving by gauss seidel or whatever it is iterative method or whatever it is and then uh, by solving you are uh, generating an approximate solutions so this is the uh, like flow chart of um, sol uh, solution steps various solution steps so what is mesh now important thing is mesh so i will just describe mesh is like uh it should be like uh, this uh, in a critical device region where the charge density vary very rapidly if the charge density varies very rapidly the mesh spacing has to be smaller than the extrinsic d by length so d by length is uh something which is related to variation of carrier density at interfaces okay so up to what uh length carrier densities are remaining constant that's what the dy length is so our mesh height should be less than our uh, dy length okay so then uh, this mesh type uh, again more detail will be discussed in uh, google meet sessions sessions and uh, numerical solution techniques what what are the numerical solution techniques so we have say direct method gaussian elimination this lower upper decomposition method which is a matrix method again the iterative method you have like uh, jacobi uh gauss seidel uh so those things are there okay 
so uh, we will be using um, iterative methods of gummel iterative method along with newton raphson sub steps okay so validity of diff diffusion model so temporal variation occur in time scale much longer than the momentum relaxation time so this is the first approximation okay so basically we are removing out all the temporal variations so no time dependence time dependency is not simulated first thing okay the drift component of kinetic energy must was like was neglected is neglected thus removing all thermal effects okay thermal electric effect are associated with the temperature gradient in device are neglected so these are some of the Uh, like uh, approximation we made okay uh, the special variation of external force is neglected okay uh, parabolic energy band model are assumed so parabolic energy bond uh, energy bond model which we which uh, those energy band model which which we get by coning coning panning model okay so those parabolic models are are, are being assumed here okay so um uh, so uh, this couple uh, drift diffusion equation are being solved by gummel and uh, newton's um, newton's method so basically gummel it gummel iterative method along with newton raphson sub step we use uh, basically in scaps only and then uh, these thing will be unlocked in uh, i will unlock in our um, i will go into more detail in our google meet sessions so you can see gummel method what it is do initial guess of the solution solve poisson electron and hole equations if it is converging then take take care into account the generation rate and so this is how uh, gummel iteration method happens so newton method i will not go in much detail so you can see gummel approach uh, when the consecutive equation are weakly coupled newton method when the consecutive equation are strongly coupled and then we are using a combination of them so gummel newton more efficient approach so this is what gummel iteration method with neutral term sub steps is what being used in scaps 1d so flow chart of one uh, 1d drift diffusion simulator like a details flow chart i will unlock it in the again in our google meet session so basically what is the summary is a drift diffusion model is good for large mosfet devices bjts hetero structures or solar cells so uh, thank you for listening and follow us uh, basically i have not uh, covered in too much detail in this uh, presentation because uh, because like i have to do work i have to take out my work, uh, time uh, to prepare out these things uh, so those things cannot go uh, like free so if some sort of feedback mechanism should be there so to keep it Uh, for longer time to keep it sustain i am like uh, uh, to ju just to sustain it i am taking out uh, 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 separating out some of the sessions as google meet sessions whereby i will be getting necessary uh, supports from from uh, like from uh, from my viewers so that uh, the overall um, this channel can survive So thank you thanks for listening